Uh, invasive candidiasis is a relatively common infection in children and and also in neonates, especially with the increased uh, incidence of premature babies. We are getting more or more cases of invasive candidiasis in neonates, and in our country, uh, overall there is an increase of PICU and NICU admissions. So, uh, the incidence is increasing and increasing day by day. So the, as you know, in neonates, the important risk factors which leads to this invasive candidiasis is prematurity, low birth weight, broad spectrum use of antibiotics, and long for longer duration, especially invasive uh, methods like catheters, endotracheal intubations, abdominal surgeries, and of course, use of H2 receptor blockers and antacids. So all out of all this, use of broad spectrum antibiotic is the most important factor which leads to this invasive candidiasis. Now we know the uh, use of, now we are for the, coming to the prevention because we know we don't have much antifungals in our hands to treat this invasive candidiasis. So prevention is the mess, most important factor which will help us to treat this patient. So coming to the prevention, the most important thing is, as I said, judicious use of broad spectrum antibiotic. Second, of course, you have to have a very good hand hygiene method to keep the NICU free of infection. Another important factor in mostly practiced in most of the NICUs is if you have a very high incidence of invasive candidiasis and if you have babies of less than 1,000 gram, that is less than 1 kg, it's better to use, go for fluconazole prophylaxis in the dose of 6 milligram per kg twice a week and to continue till the baby is little stable. And you can use this even in high risk groups, the groups, the high risk factors as I said before. The use of oral nystatin and the use of uh, probiotics to prevent candida infection has not been found to have any effect. So presently we have only as a fluconazole prophylaxis as the main way of prevention. In addition to that, we can also use judicious use of antibiotics to prevent invasive candidiasis in intensive care centers.